am going to take you on a journey that begins with my daughter and extends to my role as a school leader. Mommy, I didn't get in. Her heart was broken for the first time in her life. And in that moment, so was mine. Why me, mommy? That was a question that I could not answer because through my eyes, she was among the elite, graced with wisdom and a heart of gold. She was a leader among her peers in middle school, straight A student, a student athlete of multiple sports, worship leader for the church, youth ministry, volunteer, and an amazing daughter and sibling. How could she not get into a high school magnet program designed for future leaders when that was the epitome of who she was? What measurement were they using to exclude what her middle school teachers spent years developing? No one is promised every opportunity. However, it only made sense to me to give a deserving child a deserving opportunity. As she handed me the letter after reading it, stamped with an energy of defeat, I ripped it. My words to her were to not let the small opinion of a few destroy the inward opinion that she had for herself. And that being good enough was simply someone's opinion. While I knew that as much as she wanted to receive comfort, her heart could not. My hope for her when she ran upstairs with the letter in excitement was shattered. I was hurt and it could not be controlled. I couldn't pretend. I saw it in her tears. As time passed, she reminded herself that God, he never allows a door to close without having a plan. And she was hopeful that high school would bring an experience to allow her to continue to lead. Dorian had faith. Her prayers were answered when she met Mr. McMicken the avid elective teacher at Ridgeview High School in Columbia, South Carolina, as a sophomore. He became a safe place for her to share her goals for her future. Through his elective experience, her voice, it was respected. And leadership opportunities were many through the avid pathway. Her civic heart, and push for personal success was graced with appreciation. She had more than an educational program. What she had was a home. Opportunities grew and so did her courage, her strength and her resilience. There was nothing that she believed that she could not do and there was nothing stopping her. She believed and she conquered. She excelled in the classroom, on the varsity cheer team, on the track team, in the honor society, in the beta club, on the course, at church, and in the community. She went on to receive college scholarships for academics and track. You see, she used her hurdles in life as a springboard and became a 400 meter hurdler for Claflin University. She did it all. 
she achieved her goals and it was guided. It began with the AVID experience. That's what encouraged her brilliance and her social development. She's strong and developed that strong belief and she knows that she's deserving of it all. Then at a pivotal moment in my leadership, I reflected on my level of student impact. Was I doing everything to maximize every opportunity for my own students? I pondered, I thought, I pondered. And what flashed before me was my daughter's experience. What could I do? I then made the decision to provide my students the AVID experience, to release the full potential in me, in my students, in their families, and in my staff. I work with district staff to leverage support for re-imaging the Center for Achievement to a personalized learning AVID magnet school. What this means is that CFA now is structured for all children at every level to reach their greatest potential on their chosen pathway of success. Now we are coined as the school that is developing world changers. Learning is personalized and students and teachers are co-planners of learning. So that achievement is optimized. All staff have embraced the personalized learning AVID way and received support to maximize their potential. Parents and the community are engaged with learning in every classroom permeates a collaborative working environment and college and career readiness, where teachers encourage the growth of each other. Our stakeholder team is unmatched because we are winning the fight to close the opportunity gap together. Our school is not just one that offers students engagement with wicker strategies, but it's one that offers a winning mentality. Not just one that supports college and career readiness, but one that provides the resilience and growth mindset needed to remain in college and advance in careers. Not just one that provides opportunities for career exploration, but one that provides collaborative inquiry with STEM lessons and global experiences so that exposure for children is not cut short. Yes, my daughter's experience with AVID guided my footsteps in leadership. All of the students that entered the door of the Center for Achievement Personalized Learning AVID Magnet School in Columbia, South Carolina, get the best. They are blessed with possibilities. Their love for learning and appreciation of who they are begins early and extends. They learn to love themselves. They all, regardless of educational systems that are designed to separate and quarantine their innovative potential, feel empowered, released, so that they too will know in their future that their quest can't be hindered or dismantled by anyone's glass ceiling over their future. As the leader of CFA, I believe that it is my responsibility to lead the way to a pathway of promise for all children. And I am proud to say 
that CFA is not just a magnet school. It is an incubator for innovation. For 11 years, CFA has stood proudly as Richland School District 2's best kept secret. But today, the secret is out. Because we have selected AVID and personalized learning as our magnet theme, for the first time since the inception of the school, CFA will submit application to become a certified magnet school, finally meeting the requirements. Now, I say to you, each of you, what is your charge for children? What are you doing to ignite their potential? What will spark your heart, like mine, to flame opportunities for all of your students beyond your imagination, not just theirs? If my daughter was here, she would share with you, guess what? Avid trained my mind to conquer and I am still winning. I embrace every opportunity that God sends my way and I lead. I am now a college presidential scholar. I'm a college mentor. I'm my mother's sorority legacy. I'm a rising senior track runner, and my GPA, it is in the top 5% of student athletes at Claflin University. I am a coordinator for the youth programs as a student at the YMCA, where I make the dreams of kids come true. Please, let your students win like me. <laughs> Teachers, educators, district level employees, you are in a position. You've been blessed with privilege and promise. This is a season that you have been gifted to help your students, your students, your students see that life too can be well lived in a time where they may not see, but a time that is critical. Now raise your heart Raise your hand and unlock the door. Know that Avid is not just a key. Let it be your master key. Thank you.